Hey makers, this is Praveen, and in this episode, I am going to talk about newly rolled out feature which is generally available at this moment. Let's talk about data workspace in the Power Platform and explore its features in detail. So, without further delay, let's get started. Now, in the Power Platform, whenever you are creating any new table using the Create New Table options, basically it is providing you the new way of creating the table. In the new way of creating the table, you will be able to see the different option where you can start with a co-pilot or you can import from a SharePoint list or you can import an Excel file or CSV file or you can start from the blank. And when you select start from the blank, basically at that time, it will provide you this kind of co-pilot interface and from here, you can start creating your table. The table creation process has somehow changed with this new implementation and this is called as data workspaces in the power platform if you create the table without any solution it will be adding default cds publishers abbreviation when you are creating a table or adding a new column inside that but let's say for an example if you are going into any solution at that time also you will be having the similar experience to create the table so let's explore that in depth over there. So I'm going here and leave and discard this table. Let's go to the solution. And here I created one solution called YT Bookings. Inside the solution as well, we have the data workspace capability. Let's click on new to create some new tables related booking. So when you click on new options from the solution and select the table from here, similar way it will open up the interface like this. Over a year as well, you have four different options. Also, in the past, I have created a separate video on how you can create Dataverse table in the Copilot. If you wanted to go for that, the link is available in the description box. Do check it out. But here, let's start creating a fresh new table for the booking system. So I'm starting from the blank from here. And when I start from the blank, over here, you can see that you can start creating the table from scratch over here or on the right hand side, you will be able to see the co-pilot section as well available for you. So anything which you find which is easy and helpful to you, you can choose it for yourself. So first of all, let me start creating the table manually for myself. So I am creating a booking table for desk system. So let me provide a table name over here. So I'm just double clicking on the table name. And let's start typing the table name. So I'm creating a table called booking system. Now, my table is created. It's time to configure the different column inside that. For that, you can simply click on three dots from here and click on view data option. And over here, there are different options available where you can create a new row or you can create a new column or row relationship or you can check the properties or even if you want to open it into full screen mode, you can open it like this. This is again similar interface like table creation that you were earlier doing with the Dataverse, right? So let's start using this full screen mode and I'm starting creating a column. So first of all, this column I'm renaming that and I'm just providing the column name as booking ID, type as single line of text, and over here, you can see that schema name also showing the abbreviation of the solution. So my solution abbreviation is PPT underscore. So that's why it is showing PPT and underscore after that, the name of the column. Okay, let's click on update. And that will update that column. Similar way, let's say I want to create some another columns like start date, end date and those kind of stuff. So for that, what I'll do simply is uh, I will use my co-pilot to ask that questions. So let me start typing a co-pilot prompt over here. So here I'm typing a prompt like create some column for booking start date, booking end date and number of seats. And let me hit enter. And what it will do is co-pilot will start working on that and start creating those columns in the background. So let it to be happen. And here we are. You can clearly see that the booking start date, booking end date and those columns are created perfectly over here. And over here as well, you can see those columns are created. 
you can see this is date and time column, date and time column, and this is the number column, right? This is the exactly what I wanted, right? So similar way, you can enhance your data model the way you want, okay? And obviously, like it is a general available feature, complete feature overview. I already demonstrated in some earlier video when it was available as a part of preview. So this is a glance of data workspace in the Power Platform. Now uh, we are done with that. Let's minimize this and let's click on save and exit. And that will save this table and we are done with that. The main purpose of the creation of this video is uh, earlier when you are working with the solution and when you were creating the table inside the solution, the look and feel of the table looks somewhat different, right? Uh, because it's a whole manual way. But now Microsoft has changed this a little bit. Now with the Copilot combination and lots of other feature of the data workspace, you are able to create the table over there. And you can see here in the solution, the table has been created perfectly with the abbreviation over here. And even if you open the table over here again, and if you go to the column section, you will be able to see all the custom columns created with the PPT abbreviation over here, right? Isn't this cool and amazing? Now, a couple of interesting thing about this data workspace feature I wanted to highlight here. Currently, it supports nine plus languages. Also, it is AI powered and use the latest GPT models for accurate data models. It is seamlessly integrated with your solution. So we just see that particular stuff in our demo itself. Also, it makes the effortless table creation process. Isn't it cool? Like you don't need to do lots of hard work, just add some prompt and it will create a table for you. Saving lots of time, isn't it? And for modern app buildings, like uh, even in the Canvas application and model driven application directly from the workspace, we can do the stuff, right? Hope this video is helping you and values your time. If so, make sure you hit thumbs up and subscribe my channel. It's free for you, but it's helping me in lots of other ways. And make sure you don't forget to follow me on my Twitter and Instagram because these are the platform where I'm uploading short content on Power Platform. With this, this is Thruveen signing off. See you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.